Good afternoon. We're here at Plum Island today. I'm gonna do a sunset shell collecting adventure. Always love Plum Island. Uh, let's see what kind of unique treasures we can find here today. Let's do it. First thing here, which is really cool, is a base scallop, and I'm surprised that's my first find. Base scallops are usually not found north of Cape Cod, so to find one here is is pretty cool. Nice little moon. Another moon snail here. Of this moon snail. That's huge. Look at that. That's massive. I don't need any more of those. I have many, many. But that's nice. All right, in this little pile, we have one moon snail. broken I'm not gonna keep it but that is a deep sea scallop yeah sorry I can't get a good view of it yeah I'm not gonna keep that though hopefully I can find a bigger one that color that's pretty okay so this is a live northern moon um, you can see the opercular in that trapdoor I'm gonna put him back in the ocean because he should be in there if there's any chance of him still living, it would be back in the ocean. So I'll put you back in there, buddy, okay? I think I see a scallop. Yes, I do. Nice little deep sea scallop. Definitely going to keep that one. I love them here because they're, they're such a beautiful color, Plum Island. They have that, um, sometimes they're like buried in sediment, so they have a unique like rust red color. That's beautiful. Color on this one. This place you can always get a lot of great moon snails. Whew. Not shark eye moons. These are northern moons. So there is a difference there. Tons of these, I can't pick them all up. There's tons. And there's a lot of drift here today, I think probably because of the two storms that just went through. Oh, look at this, right here. I'm gonna walk right over it. That is a Stimson's Welk. That's gorgeous. Wow. Definitely gonna keep that, it's not whole.
Found another one. Another beauty. Yes, that is gorgeous. Look at the color. Look at that. Nice. How they're supposed to look. Very large piece of a uh, Stimson's whelk. Not whole. Generally, don't find these whole because they are a deep water shell. So they usually get pretty beat up before they end up on the shore. So I will leave that back. All right. So I'm not gonna keep this because that is just in really bad condition. But that's a bigger sea scallop. I found sea scallops this hole up at uh, Machias, uh, and they're in pretty good condition, but not here. <laughs> I will leave that back to nature. One of the reasons I love shell collecting at Plum Island is because there's always, most always, an incredible amount of drift and a lot of cool treasures can hide in the drift. It's an awesome drift line here. All right, well, I found one, another one. This is the bottom part of a deep sea scallop. That's beautiful, nice white color. With a little dent in it too. Look at that beautiful, beautiful shell. This is the ripper claw of a lobster. That is massive. So lobsters have two claws, a crusher claw and a ripper claw. This is a American lobster's ripper claw. The crusher claw is always thicker. This is beautiful. That's a huge, this was came from a very, very large American lobster. I will leave it back here. That's a cool find. Found one upside down here. Beautiful purple on the, the inside. There we go. Look at that color. And look at the beautiful purple there. What a gorgeous sea scallop. I was waiting to find one of these. Look at that. A nice little chestnut astarte. Yes. Love that. I'm losing daylight very quickly here on Plum Island. That's a beautiful little chestnut astarte. I think I found another one. Look at that, hiding in there. Yes, a beautiful deep sea scallop. Today is the day of mini deep sea scallop minis. Awesome, awesome shell. Okay, I have lost light fast uh, very much here at Plum Island this evening. So we did a sun sunset shelling adventure and uh, I want to show you some of the great stuff that I found um, that we found together good stuff here so if we look there are uh, that's a blue mussel in the bottom there an Atlantic Bay scallop which is very rare for Plum Island generally those are found more south from here their range uh, is from the Caribbean up through Cape Cod, but not to Plum Island. So um, we have some beautiful deep sea scallops, some purple ones and red ones, and uh, the, the brown one there and a, and a white one. Some great chestnut astartes, those are brown. A fallen angel wing, uh, two beautiful but not whole Stimson coluses, and a gorgeous. Uh, northern moon snail there so see these are some of the great finds 
from Plum Island this evening for our sunset shelling, and I just lost the base scallop. I hope you all had a good time, and of course, I will see you on that next adventure.